Hey everyone, as we get into this last week of the quarter for this class, I just wanted to take a few minutes and offer my own reflections for all of us as we complete this course, but then move beyond this course into the rest of the degree program, into day-to-day -day life, into continuation of ministry. So a couple of weeks ago, we all talked about um, how important relationships were and the importance of taking time in building community, both in ABCD and CCD. As we get into this last week and then into the final paper and we begin thinking about next steps, begin thinking about how can this be incorporated into my own community, I want to stress again what we talked about a couple weeks ago in that it takes time. When I was in this course, I, I was really excited about the final project. I was very excited about the next steps to take. And as I did those, I wouldn't say they fell flat, but they fell slowly. Uh, they, they weren't as quick as I had hoped. The change wasn't as rapid as I anticipated. The uh, reception from those around me in my community was not nearly as strong as I had anticipated. And that made it a little bit discouraging. Uh, there was the thought that maybe I've missed or maybe I've not had the best ideas or I need to go all the way back to the drawing board when in reality, We've had a pretty intensive study of this, and even as we've been studying this, there's been the desire to study community development and Christian community development and focusing on assets. And as we have taken this approach and as we've decided to learn and grow, that has really changed us. But the reality is so many people around us forget had the intensive learning that we did. They didn't have the desire for intensive learning that we did. And as we look to take our next steps, I would encourage you to focus on a couple of things. One, focus on what you really do think your next step is. Don't just, you know, have an idea and say, well, th this isn't going to work. Uh, I'm a big fan of throwing anything against the wall, seeing what sticks, um, trying what's best, not ruling yourself out before you've even given it an attempt. So I would encourage you to lean into those ideas you have. Those are blessings and those are really good things. But as you lean into those ideas, I would also encourage you to think about the people in your community around you, not just what does my community need or what does my community have, but who are the people in my community and what are their perspectives? Because one of the things I missed out on the most was recognizing I had a lot of great ideas and I still believe I do. And I actually don't think that I was wrong in what I desired to do post course um, when I took this class but I did not account for all of the other people who had their own opinions and their own perspectives who still looked at their community as a needs-based reality, who still looked at culture as something that would attack the church or attack the community. There, there was not a lot of connected ideas um, between me and my community. And that's where a lot of the mistakes came from, not necessarily the sheer fact that I had a bad idea or things weren't working or didn't go well, had a lot more to do with the fact that I was here and my community was here. And when I tried to run, there was this big gap in between that most people didn't necessarily want to run with me. So in the time since, I've begun to try to bridge that gap and be the bridge builder. And that's what I would encourage all of you to be, is to be the bridge builder from where your people are to where you are. <clears throat> and not just your ideas, but how you see things. Now, I think that's a big difference. A lot of people want to focus on, well, I have this idea and we can build this and we can start this and we can do this rather than you have a perspective. Your perspective, hopefully, is that we have a lot of assets in our community. We have a lot of gifts. We have a lot of skills. We all have a lot that we can give and we can develop together. Hopefully, your perspective is that there is a, a beautiful way to bring Christ into our community and develop it with him. That is one of the big pieces that we need to share with our communities, not just the things that we want to do, the programs we want to start, but the conversations we need to have, the perspective we need to walk with. And as those conversations begin and those conversations happen, the things will come. And I say this as someone who is a little tired, if you can believe it. Being in Detroit is very interesting. It is it's a city that has a lot to offer uh, with a lot of people that don't see it. Uh, there's a lot of people who believe Detroit is on the up and up, which it is, 
Uh, but there's a lot of narratives around it, a lot of views that you know Detroit left and now it's returning. You know this big comeback, and a lot of people who were who have stuck around are pushing back, saying we never left, we're still here. But there's also this view that you know life can only get so good, things can only be so strong, things can only be so great. And the reality is that's not true. I, I don't believe that. And a lot of the skills that we have are a lot more than the skills that a lot of other people think we have. So a lot of time is spent in changing people's perspectives because a lot in Detroit, a lot of the, the vision, a lot of the dreamers, they've left. They've gone somewhere else. They've gone to where the high paying jobs are. They've taken their state degrees from U of M and Michigan State somewhere else and the people who are here are beautiful people, but too often they don't have the same perspective that I look at the community with. So as I'm thinking about where am I going with the community, relationships take a front seat. That was the other thing we talked about. We talked about time. We talked about relationships. And when I focused on doing things, I was not focused on long term and I wasn't always focused on people. I was focused on, well, this is going to work and it's going to be great. And this is how we can change everything. And the reality is like my last video, the idea of committing to a place for long term. The reason that's important is very few things can be appropriately and beautifully accomplished in the short term. A little bit can. Um, but the change that we're talking about in this course really does take long term investment. And that's not just in a city as an abstract, but in a city as the people who are there and the people who live there, the people who pour their lives in there. So I, I would encourage you to stay strong, to hold fast, to recognize that this is a marathon. And while some of us think that we're at mile 20 and we're kind of making that last turn for another push before things change, the reality is you might be at mile three. And there are some water stations coming up and there's a lot of race to go before those around you really embrace this idea of ABCD and CCD the way you do. And too often we want, we want to think we're in the final miles of that marathon, that the breakthrough is right around the corner. And I believe breakthroughs do come. A lot, a lot has changed for me and my community. But at the same time, I know that I'm, I'm probably at like mile 10 where I am. And there, there's a lot of mileage left, a lot of endurance to be um, leaned into and a lot of endurance to focus on. And as you guys look to bring this wherever you are, I would encourage you to see it as a long-term endeavor. And too often in our, in our cultures, uh, and I mean the broader, at least American culture, but I, I think globally this touches a lot as well. Things want to be quick. Um, donor, as we've talked about a bit in this class, donors want to see results, whatever that means. They want to see quick change or change of some kind, something that's tangible. And the reality is that those do come. Stuff like that happens. Breakthrough is beautiful. But it comes one person at a time. It doesn't come necessarily in the masses. So as you do this work and as you look to what is next for you, I would encourage you to take some time and pray about this and ask the Lord, where am I? Where is my community? What, what are their next steps? What is something that I can do? Um, because I also believe that we all can do something. Um, but I also encourage you, and I mean this as an encouragement, not as a discouragement, because um, I, I think it could come off that way, but I would encourage you to hear what I actually mean. Um, don't let your expectation of what you can do be too big. And I, I don't mean that because I'm not saying that you guys can't do anything big. <laughs> On the contrary, I do believe that you guys all have incredible potential and you can do so many things. This has been an impeccable class to TA for. I've loved it. Um, but when we think that, hey, I'm going to go make a 20% difference in this change right now with this one thing, uh, we tend to get discouraged when we might only make a 5% change. And the reality is that in this work, a 5% change is phenomenal. That is amazing. And it's this long-term work. So as you look to do this, I would encourage you to focus on what is the next change that I can make? What is the next thing that I can influence? What is the next thing or the next person or the next place in my community that I can engage this conversation, that I can develop a relationship? And as those things build, 
that's where the long-term change happens. Again, I don't mean to discourage you. I, I have the, the highest faith in all of you, uh, but I would really encourage you not to think that I'm going to change this all in the next year. And, and I say that because that's where my head was. I was thinking in 12 months, my whole church ministry will be different and everyone will see this and we'll be running ABCD and we'll have all the CCD principles invent. Like it's all going to work. And the reality is that that didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Um, but change did happen. And if I was so focused on what I missed and that 12 month change not coming, I, I would have missed the change that did come and has come and is pushing towards the future step by step. So you guys have been incredible. I have loved to engage with you guys and read what you have to say and what you have to think. And I've been, uh, it's been enjoyable to watch you guys grow. Uh, I am praying for you all as you take the next steps in your ABCD and CCD journeys. And I pray that you all know that you are um, and that you are able to be a huge blessing to each and every one of your communities.